NASA honored three storytellers today for their work telling America's space story. It's all part of one of their press site's greatest traditions to say thank you to journalists, photographers, and broadcasters helping to cover the space industry since the 60s. And one of this year's inductees happens to be a familiar face to all of us here at WESH 2. They didn't do it for the recognition, but their years of service telling America's space story ends with their names written in brass. A thank you and shining example for all who come here after Three, witnessing history. Two, one, ignition, and lift off. Honored today, photographer Michael R. Brown, archivist Maggie Persinger, and retired West 2 space reporter Dan Billow. He'll always be the Apollo 11 astronauts. It's an unbreakable bond that these three share. West 2 viewers know the name Dan Billow. Starting in 1987, Dan covered every moment of NASA, yeah, triumph, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia, and tragedy. That is uh, hauntingly reminiscent of the Challenger disaster. That is something that is falling out of the sky, breaking up into pieces and burning. Earning numerous awards along the way, now forever part of the community of NASA journalists honored. Kennedy Space Center Associate Director of Management Bert Summerfield says the Chronicler ceremony is a chance to extend their deepest thank you to those who go above and beyond to tell their story to the world. Today's inductees join the 82 others hanging proudly inside the NASA press room, setting the standard for the next generation. Retired in 2021, Dan and his wife live in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Georgia. We just want to say congratulations to all. It is very well deserved. That is awesome. Congrats.